So this is gonna be one of my first, this is my first ever screen crafter drawing, um, and I'm gonna try and do it in a timed way. So this is gonna be 30 minutes all in, I'm giving myself 30 minutes to get a little monster done. Um, and I'm gonna use the same method that I did with my daughter the other day as like a little challenge. I've picked out a little free uh, vector from free pick over here, a little monster vector that I'm gonna use as my inspiration. So I'm not going to copy over it directly. I'm just sort of going to follow the body shape and it may or may not look exactly like that at the end, but um, it's it's a good starting point for me because I'm not that great at coming up with original <laughs> ideas and um, I'm sure I'll get better at that over time. So um, all right, I'm going to give myself 33 minutes and I'm starting at 27 past the hour and I'll stop at Eight o'clock, and let's just see how we get it on. So hopefully you can't hear my kids too much. I'm using um, Autodesk Sketchbook. I've gotten kind of uh, used to Autodesk Sketchbook as um, as a digital drawing software. It's free, and I haven't used anything else, so I have nothing to compare it to. Um, I have been interested in using Procreate, but um, as of yet, I do not have a Mac, so it's looking a bit like a nose, isn't it? So the way I do this is I tend to like start out with um, sort of the, f the first rough drawing to kind of like lay out where it, the main components of the creature are, and monsters tend to have a little horn. Oh, he's got a little, he's a little unicorn horn. Oh look, he's got cute little bat ears. Um, we may or may not keep the bat, I like the bat, bat ears, we might keep the bat ears. <sighs> I'm really just seeing if this software is going to work for, you know, other applications. Um, in my day job I do create e-learning, um, slides and content and that kind of thing. <laughs> oh dear. He's looking a bit silly already. The little legs are gonna go out here somewhere. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're timed Sarah, so we're gonna hurry this up a bit. You're gonna get an insight into how I just think and talk at the same time. Hopefully it won't be bothering you too much. Like, what is that big weird thing coming out of him? like swirlies. I prefer I prefer swirly things. And I kind of don't like that he has just got four legs. Like, is he an octopus? I don't know what he is. We may give him more legs in a minute. So let's see. Now this is where when I start drawing faces, my faces tend to look much different than the original. Oh no. <laughs> I do like his little angry eyes though. Um... And I like that he's got wrinkles as well. Oh. As uh, as I begin to age, the wrinkles I can oh look at that. The wrinkles myself are just beginning to show. So I am really beginning to um identify with creatures and monsters who are having a bit of a um, Aging person. I don't know why I'm working so hard to get these lines. It doesn't matter because we're gonna end up going a layer over this in a couple of minutes anyway. So <laughs> it's like cleavage on his eyes. <laughs> I like the little dots. Whatever these are, some kind of camouflage. I don't know. Okay, so we'll um, we may refer back to our the original drawing, but may probably not. And now what I tend to do is um, kind of drag him off to the middle, maybe rotate him a bit so he's a bit more square on. And then I'm going to do probably one or two more line drawings on top of this to kind of um, get what I want out of the drawing. So we'll add another layer, probably scooch this on down. Oh, it doesn't matter where that is just now. We'll take this and we'll um, make it a bit lighter 
And now we'll just carry on fleshing out more components of the octobat. You could call him an octobat. So I feel like this time I'm gonna go in a little finer detail and keep the bits that I really like here. I like his little grumpy chin. That's uh he may flesh out his little cheeks, his little round bits here. Oh, I kinda like that. <laughs> like he's eating something. And uh, he'll have his little grumpy mouth again. I like his little curled up lip. I might keep that. Ooh, what's this? Oh, just put a little dark piece in here to say this might be where a tooth goes. Yeah, a little tooth here. Yeah, he's got some really chubby cheeks, like a little chipmunk. I think the ears could be a bit bigger, probably. Yeah, a little bit bigger here. There's some sort of, like, the bony structure here could come to a point in this little bony structure and this is like the stretchy skinny bit yeah <laughs> like bat skin and uh there's one bone well i guess he's i guess it's a fish yeah this is a fish fin isn't it i don't know why i thought it was a bat Ooh, I don't know how I feel about this one. That looks wrong. Yeah, that looks a bit wrong. We'll just take that bit away and see if we can fix that a little. So what's the problem? Oh, okay, it's too long. That's what it is. This bit's longer. Oh, that done. This doesn't look quite right. Okay, that's looking better. I kind of want it to look like that. I don't know. Okay, that looks okay. Right, let's get his eyes into place. So his eyes go here, one eye. He's got a little smaller eye here. He's looking a little lopsided. Well, that's looking kind of cute. He needs little nostrils, didn't he? With those peaky nose. Okay, I'm liking this. He's got some sort of furrowed brow. Some little wrinkles over here which we'll flesh out once we do the ink part. Uh, wait a minute. I don't think I want anything in here because his nose is going to take up this whole section. I can't quite remember what our... <laughs> this looks like he's got a little like monocle. Anyway, so this is his furrowing we get his furrowed brow thing going on. I'm gonna have to look back. I think we might get rid of this little section. This might be the problem. Hmm. Yeah, that looks okay. He looks really, um, he's got a full expression here now. How many more minutes? Ooh, gotta hurry up here with the time. I even gave myself extra minutes. Now I feel like as an undersea creature he's gonna have some kind of like is it just me or do you, like you kind of want him to have a little you want him to look like a little angler fish. I kind of do. Like a little light little light source. Okay if I have time we can deal with that. Of course the horn is gonna have to have some texture to it which we'll add in the the next section. I think this is hidden part. Yeah. Okay. Now, what are we going to do about his little wiggly bits at the bottom? Hmm. I feel like this had some kind of... This is going to look really stupid. Don't like that. Let's undo that. Hmm. Back to our reference drawing. What did he look like? Oh, he had some sort of squashy tentacle thing coming out. More. Okay. Let's. Um, okay, more like this. And then he had to like a little curvy bit like that. And then it was like a little bit more like, okay, look at all my weird squashy bits. I think because I haven't really 
determine what he's laying on. It looks like he's on a flat surface in that picture. Hmm. All right, I think we are just gonna have to make our own thing here. I'm gonna go with some kind of tentacle. And then he has maybe something else curling under here. And that can be another tentacle here. And then he's got, you know, something else here. That doesn't look quite right, but we can fix that in a minute. It's rather tiring. Another sort of situation there. Da -da 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 -da. And this is behind that one, and that's coming a little further out now. Something like that. And then he's maybe got one at the back as well. That's eight. Okay, it's more like a squid angler. He's got all the things. He's got all the things now. He has too many things, doesn't he? This is why he had four and not eight. Okay. I don't think he needs octopus things at all. We are going to put another layer on because I don't have time to fix that. Right, so we're going to roll that down. Oops, we can roll that up. Roll this down. And we are going to give the guy... We're going to go back around one more time. Oops, wrong one. See, I'm drawn on the wrong thing. We're going to go around, give him his little cheeks. That's in place now. His little squashy chin. Oh, he's looking really squidgy now. Look how squidgy he is. He's got his little upturned lip. He's got his little tooth coming out. His expression is really starting to develop now. He's looking a little squashier. His eyes are coming out. I can't remember. A little bit more beady this time. We've got furrowed brow. Another furrowed brow. Some texture, which will come up at the end. Little wrinkles, a little puggy nose. Bat ears. Sorry, fish fin ears. Just fish fins. They're, they're not ears anymore. They are his upper arms because we don't want him to have... We got this going on and that going on. A little angler, angler fish horn. Now I think it probably ought to just follow the, the hook. Yeah, that looks better. Some kind of light source. Right. Okay. Now I'm thinking webbed feet. Like, like the ears. So coming out from here maybe. So like a like a webbed fin that's pointed down like a foot. Like a little bit longer than that, so it's coming like this. Maybe that needs to go at an angle. Ooh, how much time have I got? Gotta wrap this up, I gotta make a decision. Something like that. Yeah, okay. No, don't do that. Let's just delete that bit. Oh man, it's really hard to make a decision because I don't like anything I've come up with so far. Hmm, <laughs> what to do, what to do? I'll go back to this, just make them a little bit thicker. We'll just have to assume the rest of him is behind. Like it's coming out towards us, beckoning us. No. That looks stupid. Scratch that. Something here, yeah, that looks good. And then a little fat one back here. 
here as well. We'll just stick to the original concept. I think my improvements were not so great. That'll do. Maybe we'll add little suckers to it though. So a little bit of texture might be nice. Okay. Right. Let's do the ink. Because I'm running out of time. Running out of time. Oh my god. Gotta go really fast. Right, the ink level. So we will um get the ink pen. And I like to use this Hudson Leo pen. Let's crank that up as high as we'll go. That's good. And let's just go for it. Ah. Except I can't see what I'm doing, so let's um, get back over to the layers and turn that down. Got them all turned down to a point where I can see what I'm doing. Back to the ink. So I'm using on predictive, like, inking that's not heavy enough, so we'll just put a little bit thicker ink. Some of it I'll freehand and some things I'm probably not. What should that be? Maybe that should be more of a globular shape. Yeah, that'll do. Back to this. Just to make sure that we're... Getting all the elements. Makes you wonder what what did you eat recently? Makes me look like a bit like a potato now. He reminds me of a little um oops. And this is why I use the predictive do that. Reminds me of an apple, maybe? Yeah. Okay, so we'll just quickly turn that off and carry on. Just quickly clean that up while I'm in here. Oops. Oh goodness me, the time pressure is like really hard for me. I don't know that I'm going to make it. I've got 15 minutes left. There is no way I'm going to make this one in time. How much am I going to allow myself over time? Should I allow myself over time? I mean, technically this is my first um, video capture, so maybe I should just be lenient with myself a little. Give myself a little extra time. Just because I have uh, never done this before. Oh, what circles? Yes. He's like, like, why am I so? Why is he so angry? We don't know. Did he ate some bad food? What did this poor fish monster eat? <laughs> He's looking a bit weird now. He ate... a mermaid. 
this is giving him indigestion. That's what it is. Oops. <laughs> Ooh, okay, that'll do. Gonna go with it. It was a wee bit of a mistake, but. Ugh. Timed things, eh? Okay, now we've got all the basic elements. Now I just have to go with something with these tentacles. I guess we are going with this kind of tentacle. Doesn't look like it's gonna be fat enough. Hey, Lowey. That is what it is now. Yeah, I'm gonna have to fix this front bit because that doesn't match. But yeah, I forget when I'm doing everything. Sometimes I need to switch back and forth. I wish there was. I need to figure out a faster way to do this. Choo -choo -choo, got that thing back to this quickly, quickly. All right. And then was it here? It is now. Right, let's turn everything off and see what we've got. Layers there. Okay, so we've got... Oh, we forgot to put these little eyes in. So now I can just choose... Kind of like the beady eye thing this time. Okay, so now, with the remainder of the time, we're going to try and put some color in here. Okay, we have 12 minutes. It's all good. Now I'm going to put the color layer back here. I can't remember what color he was. I think he was sort of a purpley color. So we'll just go over here to the copic colors, because I, can't, I don't have time to pick something good. I'll just go with... Yeah, maybe that one. Get my paintbrush. I'll just go in here and give him some color. So we're putting this color behind, um, this is the part that takes a while, we're putting this color behind the actual sketch. Just have to come through and fix that in a minute. That's going to be white. I can't remember what color the ears were, a darker version of this purpley color I think. So was his horn, and so were the um, tentacles. As you can see, I use the eraser a lot. I make a lot of mistakes. And I really hate the timed thing that I've given myself. This could look a lot better if I hadn't done that. Got the window open the kids are hopefully you can't hear them because i put an effect on the audio here to get rid of background noise but they have been fighting oh my god <laughs> this is a sloppy mess i'll fix it please say i have enough time to fix it i should have enough time oh my god 10 minutes i'm doing incredibly well so we're just having you know, 23 minutes really is how long I've done this. 23 minutes and we've got to this point. You know, and I'm not really a proper professional, so. Oh, I thought I was gonna do something darker. We'll maybe go to there? Yeah, that's nice. I wanted something even different, not just, yeah, I think a different color altogether would be better. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I like that. Because once we put the highlights and the shadows in here, it's gonna kind of get some depth and take on a life of its own. 
especially with the ears. I'd be a lot more careful if I was doing this slower. But we are gonna make a use of the eraser. Or, as people in this country say, the rubber. But that's not what I think of when I say the word rubber. Oh, don't say it. And this is digital drawing, so I feel like we don't even have to say these old words for, you know, regular tools. We could call it the deleter. It's the de it's the self-deleter. The hard deleter, maybe? Ooh. Get a little carried away. Okay, a couple more things to color in. Then I'll go through and use the deleter, the soft, the hard deleter, to get the lines crispies, crispies. The soft deleter, I do like to use that if I had, like, oh, there's a screaming child. Hopefully I don't have to pause what I'm doing and go and deal with that. <sighs> pause. I could pause. Pause if I get, oh my gosh, eight minutes. I'm never gonna make it. I'm never gonna make this in eight minutes. <gasps> Sarah, what have you done? <sighs> but I did. I got, I got it too sloppy there. All right, almost done. We got ears, then we got the horn. Oh my gosh. This creature has lots more elements to him than my last creature did. How did I manage this in 30 minutes? I'm, I was a bit more decisive. I think I, I spent too long worrying about the tentacles. Yeah, I did. It just goes to show you, as long as you're really decisive, you can get these drawings done pretty quickly. Okay, I need to zoom in and I need to make that smaller. Okay, check. Oh. even smaller because it comes to this tiny little point down here. Okay, this is gonna be yellow. This needs to be a little cute little yellow light. So let's pick a nice yellow that I like. Maybe that one? Yeah, that's nice. Maybe not super bright, but that's okay. Let's go through and just do our best. Look at I have erased it. I did not mean to. Okay. So yeah, I said the word erase and I just said I was going to change this word to the hard deleter. We've got six minutes. Six minutes to get all the hard deleting done. And to get all of the shading done. Not enough time. Not enough time on this occasion. <gasps> did I mean to do that? I did not. I did not mean to do that. I'm just gonna hard delete your silly ear. Why do I keep calling it an ear? It's clearly his hands that happen to be located on his really big fat face. Because he's part fish. Because he's a fish monster. I think he's having an identity struggle. Or rather, I'm having a struggle with his identity. Why is he a he? Why do, why do I always do that? This could be a lady monster. I mean, we don't we don't know. We didn't draw in any gender here. Did we? Nope, we did not. I mean, it's, you know. Oh dear. Okay. I've gone and done that in a row. Just gonna fix that real quick. That's fine. Back to the hard deleting. Yeah, we're just so used to like saying what the creatures are. Him is like everything is default to him. I read this book recently about that very problem. Well, that's not what the book was about. It was a sub a subject inside the book to say that you know the man the male um, <clears throat> gender is the sort of the default that we use to describe our world. Anyway, it's a they because it has no visible gender. Don't, this is not the type of drawing I would want to, you know, 
Okay, I think that's it. Yeah, right now. I want to come in here and give the ends a bit of a hard deleting. I have four minutes. I have four minutes to finish this. I just legit do not think it's gonna happen. Ink in there. Now what I want to do is get like a dark, you know, a dark color in here, inside his mouth. I think by this point, with the other monster, I'd already kind of like finished up the shading. So. Ah, <sighs> three minutes. I was way too indecisive with Bobby's legs. His uh, tentacles, rather. Alright, well, we'll just do our best and try and come up with some highlights here. I need to go in. And, uh. I don't remember where the highlights were for a start. Oh no, his ears were yellow. Oh, his eyes are yellow. Oh, I'm never gonna get all this cool stuff on him in time. We just accept that. We accept this is gonna be a little longer than 30 minutes. I will keep you posted on how much longer precisely that's gonna be. Right. Turn that off again. Let's get some yellow. I think I want to use that yellow. Do, 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 do. We'll go in here and give them it's a little bit bigger. I really like this shape. I think it's important to try and capture it. See, here I am going, what does that look like exactly? Oh, oh, that looks weird. Oh, it is weird. Oh, okay. Right. It's like the hollowed out bit. Oops. Might leave that up for reference for a second because I feel like that this is actually something that needs to go on the top layer. And I need to go get my dark color again. So, oops, get that, okay, here we go, please say I'm on the right layer, I am on the right layer, so it's like, there we go, it's quite cute, and then it's kind of like a, no wonder I thought the weird ears looked weird, oh, it's just kind of forgotten, these little elements, the ear. I think it's the same for the other side. Yeah, it is, but okay, so kind of like little. What's that look like? Chinky chink, sort of. I mean, I guess this is fine. It's my version of it anyway, so something like that. And everything else inside of there is it gonna be a yellow? Oops, get rid of that. It's just kind of like, do I want to do that? Not so much. Kind of want to do that, maybe. What does your ear look like? Oh, they don't. Okay, I see. They don't go all the way down. Something like that will look okay. Ah, now we're gonna go here and do this and do this. Uh, let me do this. Let me do that. Catch this. Do that. Smoosh here. Not smoosh there. Let's just do that. Do this. There. Hard. It's way too hard to do this really fast. Oh, now I'm making crazy mistakes because I'm trying to do this really fast. Okay, I'm gonna just calm down for a second. 
and focus on things that I think are gonna make this geek. Back to this top level. What would this look like? One more time, one more time. I know, I know. Feel free, judge away. That'll do. I'm gonna come in here, get my Hudson Real pen. Cover over it. There we go. Fix. Fixed it. I fixed it. <sighs> Similar problem over here. Now we gotta make sure we're on the right layer. We're not deleting the right, the wrong things. Oh, I've gone over by a minute, by the way, and I haven't even started the shading. <laughs> now. Why does go away? Ah, there we go. What I want to do is kind of take that away. And then join that up a bit. I'm sure that'll look fine once the, the highlights and the shadows and the colors are fixed up on the bottom layer. I'm just using the basic paintbrush because I do, um, mostly because I, I guess I haven't been making stuff long enough to really have a preference for anything. I don't have a style yet that requires a special brush, apart from the pen. I really like the, um, the Hudson Rio ink pen. I don't know why, it's just nicer than the standard one. I think it has, like, um curve. That's really nice about it. Okay, that's better. Like, uh, I could show you. So you can see here that the brush has got this little tip bit on the end, and I think it's wider than the, well that's the paintbrush. I think this part is actually wider than the main one, than the standard one rather. Read between them. I'm gonna get used to my thinking and doing at the same time word usage and it's it can be difficult to decipher what I mean so apologies for that in advance oh I like his little ears his ears are my favorite <sighs> now I should have, and I've done this too fast to go back and undo this now, I should have put this yellow color on a layer by itself so that I could do the shadows differently. And this is something that I will remember for the next, was probably going to be 45 minute drawing. I'm going to stop at 45 minutes, whether this is done or not. No, I'm not, I can't, you know what it's like when you're like, I gotta finish that thing. Many of you don't know what that's like. I'm really excited about his eyes being yellow. I forgot that they were yellow and they're really... I think they were a different shape, weren't they? You're gonna remember, you'll be like, it's obvious, Sarah. I remember exactly what that looked like. Because I'm awesome and I have a photographic memory. I'm like, why are you watching me then? Go make your own art if you have a photographic memory. Because. Um, I imagine you're probably very good at that. Didactic memory, I think it's called. See, I say stuff and then I'm like, oh, is that right? I don't know. Oh, how cute is he? I'm really loving him. Something going on down here. What have I done? Something is definitely wrong down here. Let's get this going. No, you. Oh. Did I... Oh, interesting. I don't remember doing that. I mean, clearly. <gasps> clearly I did do it. Oops. I don't know. Let's type the group. Okay. I didn't mean to do something. Something I did. Clearly I did do this because this piece of paper was blank before I arrived on the scene. Okay. Alright, it's tidy. 
Now, let's just have one more look at the other guy's eyes. See, they were this lovely little, like, um, half circle shape. And my guy's got big round eyes. I'm gonna go with it. I think, you know, it's happened now. I've changed him up a bit. He does look a bit mad. Like, mad as in crazy. I wouldn't want to meet him. Right, now we have to figure out the shadowy stuff. So, I think according to the... The other guy, he's got light coming straight on his face. Okay, that's what I'm doing then. Right, we may have to refer back to that. I have exactly seven minutes to get this done. Eight minutes to get this done. So we're gonna get the airbrush here. I'm gonna take a sample. I'm gonna darken it up. I'm gonna do the shadows first. And we're just gonna go in here and sit on top of this. Just turn it on so I can't get off the edges anymore and make any more mistakes. I have to use the hard eraser for, the hard deleter for. So we'll make that a bit bigger to cover a bit more ground. And then, oh, a bit more ground, undo that. And then we'll just see how it goes. So we got a little crease here, back here. Oh, that's my phone going. Look at that. Oh, that's my friend. He's live right now, streaming on the Twitch. And I did say I was going to go watch him. Here I am, making my own recording. So, the thing I like about the um, hairbrush is that it's pressure sensitive, so you can kind of get these lighter strokes. And then it kind of blend. You can blend with the one brush, is what I'm trying to, that's what I'm trying to say. I'm not saying very well. I mean, we could maybe say there's a little bit of a shadow. I don't know why. I'm not great at shadowing and highlighting yet, so I just kind of make it up as I go along, and I'm and I'm never really sure if it's right or not. I'm gonna go ahead and assume that there needs to be shadows in here, and there will be on the eyes as well. But I need a different color for that, so. What do we think about that? Yeah, okay, that's fine. We're gonna make the thing a little smaller. We're gonna get in here. We'll just get up in her. Give that um, eye cleavage a bit of darkness. Darkness! Imprisoning me. Oh, I see. So now I wanna undo that for just a second because hopefully we won't lose that too much. Oh, goodness me. <laughs> I'm running out of things to say. Thanks for sticking with me so far, if you're still here. You gotta see the, get the final outcome. Do -do -do. Do -do 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 -do. Hello. Hello. What do you think, Hugh? Great. You missed some... Up oh there. yeah, don't don't worry about it. Once you zoom out a bit, it, you can't even see anymore. How's he looking? Yeah, good. Yeah, good. Is he a octopus? Yes. Oops. Uh, no, he's not an octopus. Where is he? Well, I don't know. Maybe he is an octopus. Yeah, he is. He only has f four tentacles. One, two, three, four. Then make eight. Well, I tried that, and that didn't look right. 
because there's one supposed to be one at the back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Maybe we'll just assume. Maybe we'll just assume there's actually four at the back. Four at the front, four at the back. Okay, his face is looking cute. We have four minutes to finish these shadows and highlights. It's not gonna happen, folks. It is not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. All right now, where do we think the shadow is here? I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it over here because the light is on that side. Oh yeah, we need to make it a wee bit darker. Hi. I'm a wee bit busy. Making a. Do you like him? Um, here, I'll show you. I'll zoom out and show you his whole self. Yeah, he's got four tentacles. <laughs> Do you know, I wanted this to have... It, it's because you zoomed out when I was at the door and I saw the whole thing. Oh, you saw the whole thing, did you? Yeah. Well, his his horn stroke angler f light was going to have like texture on it, but I have well and truly run out of time to do anything like that. But what we can do... Let's give him a little bit of a little bit of texture here. So he's gonna have like a little pattern on his face. Maybe we'll just give him a bit of pattern over here. I don't think this is actually how the original one looked, but I don't think it matters that much. Hmm. Yeah, we have a couple more here. Oh, that looks cute. <sighs> okay. Now, we're gonna go over here, get it, um, this thing. A bit of a dark, a bit of a darkening. I mean, this is just getting really like. But it's these little details that make everything really special. So if we can almost come in here and give him like a. Maybe his, his spots have a little bit of two tonedness to them. I think my th kids think I'm talking to myself. Yeah, that looks good. I mean, it could be way better, but it is fine. I am happy with it for giving the time it took to do it all. Okay, so now we're gonna up the size of this a bit and we are gonna hit those things, the tentacles. Why do I keep thinking they're not tentacles? I don't even know. We're gonna hit the tentacles with the shadow. I think you should stick. have something like spraying out of him. Ooh! Like what? Like venom? Yeah. Just what color idea. would the venom be? If you... Uh, probably like like green? Maybe? Yeah? Like, no, blue. Oh, okay. Now he is, um, he's recently eaten something, Maggie. What do you think he ate? I think he ate a burger. <laughs> he looks like it. He looks like a burger. Oh, how many minutes have I got? I have zero minutes. I've made it to the 45 minute mark and I haven't done any highlights. Oh, heavens. So, there you have it. We'll just uh, carry on. Carry on, carry on, carry on. Oh, that's too big. See? Like I said, I, if I had 
had the foresight to do this properly, I might have remembered to um, put the put the um, purple and the put the yellow on two different layers. However, didn't think about that. And speaking of those ones, let's get that as the sample, and then we're gonna darken it up a bit. That will look okay. Chink, chink, chink. In there we go. This is not what I wanted. I needed a grayer version of that. There. This is what we need. I mean... You know, if he's an anglerfish, he's way down in the deep. He's not going to have all these lovely colors, is he? So, maybe he has to fish. Hmm. I know what I did wrong. It needs to be like that, doesn't it? See? Then that one's like that. <sighs> Maybe he actually comes from a planet with um, where he's swimming around in the air. I don't know anymore. I'm not really happy with this, and I'm sad this is my first capture. I feel like I really need to muck this one up. Alright, so now we're gonna go in and try and do his um his highlights. And oh his shadow here as well. This needs a bit bigger of a, a schmoojum. We're trying to match it to the size of the one that I did with the purple. And again, so you can see I'm bleeding over into that, and I really wish I had done this on two different layers. I have a lot to do, my friends. I have a lot to do. Last thing I'm going to do is his highlights and the slight bit of this is my favorite thing. I really like to do this. Just a teeny, teensy weensy bit of monster. Monster red. Maybe a little smaller. Monster red. I mean, what's a monster without a bit of nasty, angry, ready eyes? Why red? Hmm. I guess that's what happens when the monster eats a burger. Some of the iron deposits into his body. Okay, I mean, you've stuck with me four minutes over time, still not finished. I'm guessing this is going, <laughs> this is going into the hour long zone, the hour long zone of time. Chink, chink, chink. I'm just, do you know what I forgot? You know what I forgot to do? There's too many elements. It's fine, I forgot this. So we're gonna have tentacle, um, suction cups down here. Give a bit of texture. Oh, heavens. You know what? You know what I could do? Let's just get this again. Let's actually get the darker one. And go a little darker even than that. We'll zoom in a bit. We'll just give them some, like, textured bits on his weird little tentacles. We're gonna have to go even a little bit darker than that to get that kind of shadowy section. What do I think? How does that look? You know, that actually has improved. 
little tunic a little bit. Seems like I'm gonna have to be faster. Oh, did I forget to highlight? Yes, I did. Darn it. Chink a chink. <laughs> this is fine. Not my best work, but never mind. Mama? Yes, Can I show you something? You're busy at the moment. I'm just wrapping up this little... He looks cute. You like him? Yeah, he looks like a blobfish on tentacles. Do you think he has four or... Eight tentacles? Is he an octopus type of thing? Or what? And what did he eat? Why does his uh, face look like that? Uh, he's a blobfish who has mutated into a uh, half blobfish, half octopus. That's cool. With only four tentacles. <laughs> I'm just doing some highlights now. You want to see something, Dad? What does that look like? Excuse me. No problem. Yeah. Love you, Mom. I love you, baby. Bye. 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 I feel like we should have a bit of burger on his tooth. I like Maggie's suggestion there. I guess the last thing we have really to do here is to kind of give it a bit of. Oops. Let's give it a bit of this. Oops. Come on now. You know what? I think we just need a bit wider. Ah, yes. You know what, we'll just put a little bit of... Oh, undo that, undo that. Ta -da, ta -da. Oops. Just kind of creating the illusion of glowing though, so I guess if I had more time I would look at that glowing um, brush and try and deal with that, but for now we'll put a little bit of like that yellow glow, oops, now we are going to turn that back on, but just a little bit of yellow here, a little bit of yellow here, Looks like he's got a, maybe a bit of a yellow here. Oops, too much yellow. That doesn't look right. We'll just leave that off. Oops. And we'll get that maybe on his ear a bit. Yeah, a little bit of yellow over here. Down the side. And that's it. I could do a lot more to this. And um, I really do like to shadow in the eyes a bit more. I mean, maybe that's like sort of the last thing I'm going to do is kind of 
adding a bit more grey to that colour. Like this a bit smaller. I just like to make the eyes pop out a bit more, <laughs> covering up the um the red. I might have to come back in and do that again. Just trying to oops. I really should have. I really, 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 really should have put that yellow. on a different layer. Note to self, eyes, contrasting colors, new layer. I mean, I've popped that red on there and I've just totally covered it up. I'll just go quickly go back in here, grab another red. Make my brush real small. Get that red back on top of that. Hope for the best here. That's looking good. A little bit here. Back where it was. And that'll do for now. Okay. Well, thanks for uh, hanging out with me while I made my little creature of the deep with some bat ears. Who ate a hamburger recently? And maybe I'll add the hamburger and show you the finished product. Later. Bye.